song. Can't, can't, don't make it. surprise this is, and I just saw you the other night on the uh, State of Union speech, and how many times do you think you stood up during that? How, how many times do people have to stand up? Probably not enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, you... I don't have any idea. It's, it's exhausting that you just settled down. Well, and you, you know, it's exhausting, but the thing I loved about his speech, he started talking about what we value, the things you've heard me talk about for years. I just yeah. think, uh, I think it's good stuff. I do, too. By the way, you know what my wife said to me? What did my you wife say? said to me, Joe, I said, you know, Jill, you know, I, I, you know, I sit back there and I'm, you know, listening. I help write the ideas in the speech. I know it all. And I said, I got to pay attention. She said, welcome to the club. I said, what do you mean? She said, welcome to the good wife's club. I said, <laughs> she said, how many times have I sat and listened to you make a speech <laughs> and pretend to be interested uh -huh. and looking? So, so, you know, I'm a member of the Good Wife's Club. Oh, she's fantastic. I love your she wife. She is. And, yeah. and Valentine's Day is coming up. What are you and Jill going to do for Valentine's Day? A lot, and I'm not going to tell you. No, really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm sorry, guys. Um, but seriously, you must be here for another reason besides my birthday. What are you in Los Angeles for? Well, now that you asked me, <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. But beyond being, being your birthday, you've uh, been a real booster of the Affordable Care Act and getting people to sign up. And uh, um, you have an incredible audience, a lot of young people, and you have an awful lot of... I have an incredible no, audience. No, 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 I mean it. And, and Ellen, uh, you have a lot of moms home listening. And, uh, you know, there's... Uh, what happens is a lot of you who are 20, below 25, you can still be in your parents' policy. But once you're 26, your parents can't cover you anymore. And all of you think you're invincible, that nothing's going to happen. So you say, why do I need health insurance? And, uh, and so I want every mom out there to tell their, their adult child between the ages of 26 and 35, sign up for no other reason than give mom peace of mind. You know what I mean? All kidding aside, do it. Yeah. Do it. And, and Ellen, I'm just here to ask you and you because you been a supporter, and you think it's important to uh, um, tell your audience the most uh, appropriate audience I could speak to, because they're young and home their moms. And uh, I want you to, there's four ways you can sign up. <laughs> may, may I do this? Yes. <laughs> Deadline's February 15th. You can go online to healthcare.gov. It's easy. It's finally working the website. <laughs> Two, if you want to talk to somebody, you need some help, you dial 1-800-318-2596-24-7, and someone will walk you through it. But if you want to see someone in person, and you know somebody needs help, and they want to go in person, you can go, on, you can go online to localhelp at healthcare.gov, and you'll get in the area that you live, you will get the libraries, the meeting places that you can go, and there'll be a person there to walk you through the process. Th this is changing the way people are able to live and their peace of mind. So please, get people And we will put it on the website. So if you didn't get all that, we'll put it on our website. And I, where are you going? What's happening? By the way, uh-huh. I got a gift for you. Where did that come from? How, what's, what's happening around here? I got a real gift, but first of all, my mom used to have an expression. She said, Joey, on a child's birthday, the mother should get the gift because she did all the work. <laughs> so this is for your mom. Oh, she's going to love that. Thank and you. And we talked about watching the State of the Union, watching me stand up. Uh-huh. Now, next year when you watch it, I want you to be able to be comfortable. OK. I bought you a bathrobe <laughs> with the White House seal on it. Well. And a gift to Ellen from Joe, so you're comfortable. I'm putting it on right now. Thank you so much. 
Vice President Joe Biden, everybody.